This is my ancestral home. Mm. My people built this place. Yeah. Thomas Jefferson owned this place. Mm -hmm. He also owned my family. Right. These are all my people. Why do you think it's so important to have exhibits like the Hemings exhibit here on the grounds? So what's happening here at Monticello is groundbreaking and that we are telling stories not just about Thomas Jefferson and his family, but about the families he enslaved and the labor they put into building this place and how that represents the work that African Americans put into building the United States of America. Thomas Jefferson was my five times great grandfather and Peter Hemings, who was a brother to Sally Hemings, was my three times great-grandfather. So when I walk around Monticello, I am walking in their footsteps. I feel them all the time. It is a joyful experience for me to be able to share their stories with people because my ancestors represent an American story, especially for black people. Yeah. We need to hear those stories. People come up here and they visit not only the beautiful Monticello building, but also um, the slave quarters that are here. What do you want them to take away most? So I like that question because this was a beautiful place. This is a beautiful place. But a lot of pain also happened at this place. Mm -hmm. What we cannot dismiss ever is Thomas Jefferson's influence on America and on the world. And we must also understand the stories of the people who supported him, who contributed to him, to ma who made it possible for him to do all the work that he did. That's why it's important to understand this history, yeah. because that's what happened. We worked together. Yeah. Even though people were oppressed, treated unfairly, treated brutally, we still got the job done, didn't we? Yeah.